super excited to be here with Tori Wires, AKA Draw Riot. She is our resident artist for the season. She's gonna be doing seven lessons on how to take nature or natural elements into your sketchbook. And Tori is a prolific sketchbook artist. There are so many gorgeous sketchbooks on this table, Tori. This is a daily practice for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And because you do it daily, I know that you've developed so many tips and tricks and wonderful things that you're gonna share with us. And today, I believe what we're doing is we're looking closely at our things, is that right? Yes, that is okay. what we're doing. What does that mean? So I love using nature as inspiration. Um, and the tiniest bits of nature have a lot of inspiration in them. And I think a lot of times in life, we pass by really quickly and we just look at overall shapes and overall colors. But when you get really close, you can find a lot of interesting things. The devil's in the details, as they say. That's right. Okay, so how do we get started? So I have some tiny objects here, um, one of which you can see how this little shell here was inspiration for this whole page. So starting and looking at the shapes, the colors, the textures, and the really minute little shapes within. Okay, so how would we get started with something like that? So I really thought we could look at something that we look at every day, like leaves and trees, and we see them as green or we see them as shapes. And this one in particular is not just green, but it's also red, so it's got complementary colors in it. Um, and starting with the shape and getting really close and seeing there's little divots within there um, and seeing the volume of the shape is really interesting and kind of bringing that to life in a whole new way. So paying attention to these little details, you know, I think is one of those things that really allows you to see things in a different way. Now, you obviously have taken some items from nature back to your house with you. Mm -hmm. um, you could, of course, take photos of things, I assume, in order to take them back home with you. Do you prefer to work from a photo or from an actual object? When you're looking really tiny, the, the actual object helps a lot because you miss a lot of those tiny details in a photograph. So what are you doing now? <clears throat> so we're gonna add a little color because normally what you do here is just make something green. You're like, oh, this is from nature, it's just green. But right. there's actually even little bits of red within that shape as well. I see that, I even feel like I'm seeing little bits of white. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it is funny how you can look at something that maybe you see every day and when you start to draw it or add it to your sketchbook, it completely changes. Mm -hmm. Now you're using watercolor. Do you always use watercolor in your sketchbook? I love watercolor for nature just because it travels really well. And and it's such a quick, fun thing to kind of play with color and let it blend and, and be bold. And also I noticed you're using a very small palette, which means that of course you can take it with you if you wanted to paint outside, but you certainly don't have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just makes it travel really easily and kind of breaks down that barrier of getting to work quickly. So after you've completed a drawing like this, do you use this sketchbook for anything else in your other work or is it just finished art in of itself? Yeah, I really use sketchbooks in general as inspiration for larger pieces, paintings, other artwork, art journals. It can be a lot. So if we look at something like this design, what mm -hmm. I, you're, I hear you saying is you could now turn this into a stamp or a stencil. It could show up as an image in a larger abstract painting or something. It's like it's a study for something else later. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a visual inspiration library for you. Any last tips about looking closely? I think look at textures, look at shapes, and capture everything you can see. Man, I'm gonna have to start looking at things a little bit better. <laughs> so thanks, Tori. I can't wait for this whole season. I think it's gonna be great.